Hello <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, then welcome. Otherwise, welcome back. As I have explained in my previous videos, I've meaning to make a recap of everything I've done in 2022. You may have seen some on my Instagram, Tukitsuki, if you're on this network, or maybe on Facebook. But you're going to see much more things on Instagram than on Facebook. I have to take a step forward on this network. Tell me in the comments if you prefer Facebook or Instagram or maybe both. Here I'm showing you the very first thing I've made in 2022. It's a jumpsuit, but uh, I've hacked it in a dress. It's a pattern from Direndo. I hacked it also to make long sleeves. Now let's see what I have sewn in 2022 and I'll come back later. See you! Let's start with a hack of the Sirocco jumpsuit I made with long sleeves and the skirt. I really like the wrap over top. I find it quite pretty. I just have to be mindful of what I, I'm wearing underneath. I personally don't mind if I'm showing a tiny bit of my bra. Uh, it will happen during the video. <laughs> I always go with pockets, even for skirt versions. And there are never enough pockets. I made it quite wide, as you can see. Scott with white shape suit me best. Please marvel at the wonderful little dinosaurs. I don't know all their names, but I'm sure you'll be happy to list them in the comment section. Another thing I've seen in 2022 is the t-shirt you see in the back. It's a shirt I made for my boyfriend. A long sleeve t-shirt cut in a French terry fabric with a Milky Way pattern that I found beautiful and that my boyfriend fell in love with. Both of us are very fond of purple and in general galactic colors like this, so he asked me to make a t-shirt with the stones. Here you see a Monsieur Bella t-shirt in a long sleeve version. I also sewn satin pillows in 2022. In 2021 I made similar ones with mainly blue patterns and this time we totally fell in love for purple patterns. Personally I fell for these flowers that I found utterly delightful. Originally, it was the color selected by Pantone for the year 2022. As I've mentioned, my sweetheart and I love purple, so we wanted pillow with this specific hue, albeit with two different patterns. For the modeling pack, I just look at some of my existing pillows and reproduce what I saw with more fitting dimensions. My sweetheart selected this magnificent cosmosine fabric. Here at the end you can see both pillows together. The color I mentioned isn't that obvious on my pillow, although it's still there in the leaves. For my boyfriend, it's the background color. Let's move on with the shirt, the Cleo shirt from PM Patterns. I selected a version with a wide pointed collar and high cuffs with these little buttons that I bought at Listeller since they have glitter and I love glitter. The sewing pattern was really well made, very easy to follow. I made it in a Baptiste fabric with dandelion patterns that I bought a long time ago in a DIY convention in Paris. Unfortunately, the fabric is a bit stiff and I find it doesn't live up to the quality of the sewing pattern. I undo the first button since I have a slightly plunge in the clay.
it looks better when the shirt is tucked inside the, the pants as you can see. With elegant black pants and a smell and <laughs> smell belt. <laughs> With elegant black pants and a small belt, I think looks pretty, really, really good. Next up is the dress I made for a wedding. I bought the fabric at Liz Taylor when I went to see them in Lyon. It's viscose and it's really comfortable to wear. I love it. You may have recognized it, this sewing pattern is the Maniola dress by Gerando Patterns. I had already made a Maniola dress, but I found the skirt part wasn't wide enough, so this time I took the liberty of making a new hack of this pattern to allow for a well widened skirt. I'll probably have to go over the top part for the next occasion and reduce the height of the bust, but uh, otherwise I think the final impression is really good. There's not much to change. And I just love the big sleeves. These uh, small butterfly sleeves are magnificent. Of course, these sewing patterns also has pockets. The original version of the manual address doesn't have them, but I added some as an upgrade. Next up is yet another Girando pattern. The Sirocco jumpsuit in short version. This time I didn't do any hacks. I may have lengthened the leg part since my legs usually rub against the fabric and make it swell up if it's too short. Now the fabric ends at knee level more or less and is better. It's really really comfy. The fabric is a cotton jersey with thistle patterns that I bought at Les Filles à Poix. This winter I wore it numerous times and I even had to seize the opportunity to buy a Novolog sewing machine in order to finish both the arms and legs. Before that I did the finishing stage with a double needle on a classic sewing machine and it really wasn't sturdy enough, especially for a piece of clothing that gets stretched when it's a put on or taken off, for instance, when I go to the bathroom, which obviously happens several times a day, as you do too. Next one is a long sleeve t-shirt, the Concord t-shirt from Cashmere, that I made in a French terry jersey fabric that I also bought at Les Filles à Poix, along with the Milky Way fabric I already mentioned. I love the color on this swing pattern. It was my first time making a v-neck with one part folding on top of the other. However, I found the bottom of the shirt is too tight. So if you don't like when clothes leaves marks on your belly or hips, it's not the ideal pattern for you. Then I made another t-shirt for my boyfriend. This time I'll talk about it in detail. It is once more a Monsieur Bella shirt from Makerist, uh, made in a fabric that we found on Spoonflower and that my boyfriend completely fell for. I quite like the stitch that comes back on the front instead of falling straight on the sides. I think it's really pretty. Maybe I'll have to make top stitches on the collar and sleeves, especially the sleeves so that they stay in place and don't roll up. But I'll have to find a new way of making these finishing touches in order to have a straight but extensible stitch. And yes, it's possible. If you have suggestions, don't hesitate to put them in the comment section, please. The last one is an outfit I sewed for Christmas and that I wore again for my birthday party in January. First and foremost, you have a worn bodysuit by Megan Nipset that was made with a lace I bought a very long time ago at Mondial Tissu, I believe. 
The fabric is polyester so it's not really pleasant to wear and gets hot as soon as I put it on. Especially with long sleeves I, which I found uncomfortable. And the fabric can stretch in both directions as I showed you in my previous videos. At chest level it gets a little tight and I don't like it. Along with it, there's the famous Clemence jumpsuit that I also mentioned on Instagram. It's a sewing pattern from Atelier des Premières. I'll show you a little more in detail the finishing touches I made on the inside when putting in the lining. So, finishing phase by end with a not so invisible stitch but didn't need to be invisible anyway. The sewing pattern was rather interesting but required a lot of work. In total, I had to make three mock-ups uh, to obtain a result that was satisfactory to me. Actually, I think this sewing pattern is not ideal for someone with a large chest. It has to be adjusted tremendously at chest level, so honestly, if you're well endowed in that era, I don't recommend it. Originally, there were two darts made at arm level, as you can see, and at hip level in the front. However, it didn't suit me, so I ended up making princess seams. The zipper in the back is not invisible either. The only issue I have with it is that it leaves marks around the stitching on the back, which is not quite the prettiest thing, but who oh will? Maki is very scared of every cable that uh, we let on the floor, so <laughs> he preferred to stay far away under the table for protection. I hope you liked the video. Don't hesitate to tell me in the comments what was your favorite outfit. Um, as far as I'm concerned, there were several for me. I really liked the jumpsuit uh, in a short version and uh, also the dress I've made for the wedding. Well, I see you very soon for the next video, uh, which will be about everything I've planned to make for 2023 as well as New Year's resolutions. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and want to see more about everything I've planned to make. Take care of yourself and see you soon! Bye!